Mark, what drives you crazy about panels and what do you do about it? Well, the first thing that drives me crazy is when the moderator or the panelists aren't prepared. And obviously from some of the other comments I've made, that wouldn't be a surprise. But, you know, a lack of preparation suggests a lack of concern and care for the audience. It basically says, you know, I, I don't want to be inconvenienced. Uh, I can wing it and uh, you'll still receive great value. So I, I'm, I think that a lack of preparation is number one. Uh, number two, I, I don't like um, oversized egos. It's easier to, to uh, put up with from a panelist than it is from the moderator. Uh, you know, again, uh, you, you, the moderator's job is to facilitate and moderate, not, not to, to shine and, and be the star. Um, probably the other thing I'm trying to think, what are some th – those are probably the two – oh, uh, I would say that um, – a lack of civility or an excess of interruption. And a good moderator will calm down an overexcited or zealous panelist who uh, interrupts too much or who won't let someone else finish. You know, I, to date, haven't done a political debate kind of panel. That's, you know, probably a different beast than most, most people listening or you or I would deal with. But I would say sometimes people just get excited and they – you know, they're like Arnold Horshack on uh, Welcome Back, Cotter, for anybody old enough to remember that show, you know. Um, and so I would say that uh, that that also can become very off-putting or or the dominance of one panel member uh, over the others uh, where, you know, somebody just uh, gets two-thirds of the time, you know, gets two-thirds of the time and everybody else shares the remaining third.